with the holiday season officially underway, real estate market is experiencing its typical year-end slowdown. But this year, it comes with a twist. With lingering uncertainty around the economy and interest rates, both buyers and sellers are on the edge. Hi, and welcome to Invest with Jim, where you will find real estate insights that no one else is sharing with you. Let's get into the numbers. On average, the market in Las Vegas is holding its ground versus the national trends. Las Vegas real estate market remains resilient with steady home values and a healthy inventory. This positions the city of Las Vegas as a standout in an otherwise very cautious market nationwide. With these trends in mind, let's explore what this means for you. Whether you're buying, selling, or just want to stay in Formed. The inventory as of November 1st was 5,270 homes on the market. As of December 1st, it's 5,278. So inventory has changed very little. As of November 1st, in the last 30 days, there was 1,174 closings. As of December 1st, it was 1,483. So there was an uptick in closings in the last 30 days. The median list price as of November 1st was 479,000. As of December 1st, it's 485,000. The median sale price as of November 1st was 477,000. And as of December 1st, it was 480,000. So very small increase there. Days on market went up two days from 22 days up to 24 days. Price per square footage has changed very little as well, 259, 257. One thing that has decreased a lot are the number of price reductions from 2,500 only to 2,000. And the interest rates have changed very little from 6.72 on average to 6.81 on average. By the way, if you're finding value in this video, could you do us a huge favor by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel? Thanks, and now back to the video. So if you're looking to sell in Las Vegas, these are the stats that you need to pay attention to. Days on market is 24 days. The uh, list price to sold price ratio is about 99%. The current trend of increasing inventory has created more competition, thus having longer days on market and with more price reductions. We might see a brief spike in buyer activity though. So selling now while there are still motivated buyers could be a smart move, especially before prices dip further in the winter months. If you're looking to buy in Las Vegas, keep this in mind and the homes available for sale are right under 5,300. So sellers are more increasingly open to negotiations, giving buyer credits, and even paying your buyer agent commission, which is huge in this market. And new home builders are offering very compelling incentives, whether they're interest rate buy downs or closing cost credits to the buyer. With more options available, particularly in very competitive price ranges, this winter could be an excellent time for you to secure a great deal. Acting now helps you take advantage of seller incentives and expanded inventory. Just remember, it depends on what you believe in, all right? If you think that interest rates are going to drop next year, everyone knows that when rates drop, it's gonna increase buyer demand, thus absorbing more of an inventory. I don't know if you remember, but in the last several years, there was only like 2,000 homes for sale. So this big increase in inventory, is gonna help you as a buyer having choices and negotiating power. So now that we have a clear picture of our current market, let's talk about what might happen next. Based on years of experience of analyzing the market, here's what I expect. Interest rates have dropped but risen again. This fluctuation has created uncertainty. So stay tuned for our end of year market update. Dropping that video at the end of this month and that's where we're gonna go over our whole year. So starting at the beginning of 2024, how it started and how we ended this year. And most importantly, what might happen next year. So, I mean, this is no different in the winter. I always tell people I love buying homes in the winter winter, you tend to have the best deals. Sellers that have to sell are listing their homes right now. The ones that can afford to wait probably are going to wait to see if rates drop next year. But the ones that are on the market right now are very motivated. This gives you a great buying opportunity to get a really good deal on a property if you're in the market for one. Well, that's enough for the market update. So let me give you a quick update for me. November here in Las Vegas is one of the best months here. The weather is great. I golfed a bunch. And what was really cool this last month is we had a friends and family family bowling event at Red Rock Lanes at the Red Rock Casino. We had a blast there. We hung out with a bunch of friends and family and just had a great time. Hope to see you there in the future. And also both my kids had their birthdays in the month of November. So now I have a 11 and 14 year old. Last year of elementary and middle school for them. That's exciting. 
deciding to celebrate, we took a cruise to Mexico for the whole week during Thanksgiving. It was a good time. We went to Cabo, Mazatlan, and Puerto Vallarta. Good times, ate too much food, gotta come back and trim it back up. And that's all for that, really. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in Las Vegas, now is the great time to take the next step. Feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you navigate this market and help you take advantage of all these opportunities here in Las Vegas. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment with any topics you want me to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.